beautiful besties today we have another try on haul for you and this time it is from Bowenty and this is the Glacier collection it's not all of it but it's some of it and I do want to be clear that this is not a sponsored video I really just wanted to buy these stuff because I've always been intrigued by Bowenty I like see it all over Instagram and I see a lot of influencers wearing them I actually have been sent a few Bowenty stuff before but it wasn't like this big of a collection. I was very intrigued by some of their sizing because the leggings that I received from them were very long and when I say long, I mean like they scrunch up at the ankle. I've always loved how Bowen T was this minimal look. The fitting looks like I don't know, I guess it looks cute on the models, but my body type is nowhere near like the models. So I wanted to purchase them for myself and see how it would fit my petite sizing. And of course, before I put these on, I want to share with you guys my sizing and my measurements right here. I do wear small in tops and bottoms in all of the pieces. So if you guys feel like you relate to this measurement or if you're similar, Keep on watching. So I want to start off with leggings. I have both regular leggings and the petite legging. And I have the off pissed, I think that's how you say it, in blue. And I want to talk about the details in this legging. You get the logo on the back and you can tell that the waistband, it's a lot shorter than regular leggings. Like most high-waisted leggings are much higher. So I'm interested in how it's going to look on me. And also in the front, if I kind of lay it out flat, the seam here, or I guess the waistband, kind of curves in towards the middle. So you kind of get that slight V curve in the front. So I'm not sure how that's going to play out when I actually put it on. And it's got this really weird seam right down in the middle. I don't really know what's the purpose of that. But I do love the fact that it is a rib pattern. So it is pretty much seamless. I just took this out from the packaging and you can tell it's kind of like pilling right there. Um, it's not terrible, but I've seen a few like lint here and there, a few pilling here and there. In terms of material, I want to look at the details of the leggings. It's going to be at the ankle, so very similar to Gymshark. And I really like the fact that they put that in the ankle because I don't like it when it's on the back side because it kind of like tickles my back a little bit. So it's 92% nylon and 8% elastane. So the fabric itself is a lot thicker than normal leggings. If you guys have bought from Navigation, imagine the ribbed bra but in legging form. So it's like the same type of material and thickness. I want to say it isn't as elastic as Navigation but I overall I'm intrigued by how it's going to look on me so I'm gonna put that on right now. Okay, when I'm putting this on, I don't think you guys can see, but it feels good. Like the material and the fabric feels amazing. It's not as stretchy, I'll tell you that. Um, and it is kind of high-waisted. Wow, okay, I, I think I kind of like this. The waistband is very interesting because it kind of dips in towards the middle, kind of gives you that, you know, hourglass look, but like low key. I love that color. I don't always wear blue, but on my skin tone, I appreciate it. The waistband isn't as uh, compressing. So the compression on this is, I want to say medium. It doesn't feel like it's digging into my skin and that's something I am very big on when it comes to leggings. Like if I'm moving around, I don't want to feel like I'm being suffocated and these leggings do not make you feel like that. Now, in terms of elasticity around the thighs, I have kind of thick thighs, so it doesn't feel as elastic. And it does feel long for regular leggings. I'm having to kind of like ride them all the way up to my groin area. You can kind of like see some extra fabric just kind of like laying there. And normally when you're wearing these leggings, you want to avoid 
the uni butt I try to kind of like ride it up my butt and I feel like it's not as flattering as I want it to be because I don't know if the seaming is just different from regular leggings or from navigation leggings but it's not as flattering to the booty although it is very comfortable so I really love that about these leggings not a fan of the length but I do love the feel of it. I love the compression of it and all of that. Okay, so now I am trying on the On The Rink sports bra and this one is in gray. I actually love this bra. Like I, now that I have it on, like it is super flattering to my, you know, shoulders. I have broad shoulders and it's kind of took me a long time to appreciate that i've always been kind of like insecure about wearing anything that shows my shoulders but i have grown to like it it does not have padding so if that's something you're concerned about do be aware that it does not have padding it's pretty thick so i'm pretty sure you will have it covered up i'm not a big fan of this this strap right here because i feel like it's very tight and when i looked on the website on the models it looked like it was a lot more longer and especially with them with the models having more of a bigger chest you would think it would like stretch it out but i don't know like i don't have a big chest or anything but this feels very tight so i'm not a fan of that but i think i can just learn to ignore it i feel like i can actually work out in these and not feel like it's going to fall down on me i don't think this would be the right bra for like high intensity workouts but for just like regular lifting upper body days i would definitely wear these or i can actually like even lounge in them the back side is also just as flattering like i said this fabric does not tug into your skin some bras will like dig into your lats and i don't feel that at all with this bra so i'm a big fan i actually like this one especially in this color okay so now we are going to review the off the pissed in gray but this one is in petite sizing and i purposefully bought the regular legging and the petite legging to really see the difference between the two so i'm going to take both of these and i do want to be clear that i haven't washed these leggings yet i'm going to put it side by side and make sure they're aligned and really see if there's a difference in terms of length so i'm like at the end here and this is the ankle area and that's the difference between regular leggings and petite leggings so that's about two inches so that's a pretty big difference for people that struggle with you know <laughs> the length of their leggings for petite people like us so i'm gonna try that on and see if i get some extra fabric around the waist or not the waist around the ankle and again it feels amazing this is almost like loungewear for me it doesn't feel like it's regular workout clothes <laughs> i feel like these leggings do not really snatch your waist because it doesn't have that compressive waistband that's the only thing i don't really like about it although i am feeling less fabric around the ankle area i definitely don't feel like i have to ride these all the way up and like i said with the blue leggings it does not flatter the butt as much as i wanted to like you're definitely gonna get the uni butt with these leggings so there's that and that's why i say i feel like these are more of like lounge leggings rather than workout leggings because first of all the elasticity is just not it's just not there i, I would say these are very true to size first of all i wear small in all leggings and i feel like these are very true to size but if you're working out and moving around a lot i don't feel like these are as stretchy compared to other sports leggings so there's that and one thing i am not a big fan of is the seam in the middle i feel like they put it there to kind of bring in that v in the front i'm not a big fan of the seam because it kind of like stands out a lot Unless I'm wearing this wrong. Oh, god dang it. I'm wearing it wrong. Okay, so the Bowen tee. Okay, I forget this about Bowen tee. The front will always be Bowen tee. And like you normally don't see that with leggings, right? Most, I guess, logos will be like on the back side or on the side. So I'm used to that concept. So I put the Bowen tee side on the back, which it should be in the front so i'm gonna try that on again because i feel like 
the seam in the middle in the front felt very awkward and unnatural so hopefully this will make a bigger difference or at least a slight difference okay i feel like this is so much better now that the bow empty is at the front but i get pretty bloated you know especially tonight i just finished a big meal and now i'm recording this video my gut is definitely like popping out but that's normal i want to reassure you guys that that's completely normal that's just our female organs i do feel like it does not compress your waist that well because of the compression of the waistband like the waistband is pretty much non-existent and that's something very unique about bowen t is that they don't really have a long waistband it's just very short and then you get the logo nothing compressive about it the compression on these leggings is the same all throughout they're very cute for lounging and going out for errands maybe i'll wear it for upper body days but i don't see myself doing leg days on these. Now we're moving on to the mini shorts in gray. And it's the same material as the leggings, but it's just shorter. It's definitely a lot shorter than other shorts that I have in my closet right now. So I wanna see how this is going to fit. Because of the seam work in the back, I think I'm gonna expect a uni butt look, but we shall see. I really like the pictures on the models, but the thing about most of these brands is that we kind of think it's going to fit us the same. I think my toxic trait is that I think I can pull off those outfits like the models do on the website, but I don't look like that. <laughs> First impression of these, these are very, very short. I don't like the compression on the waistband. That's just something I don't like about the leggings in general. It just sits very weird in my stomach and I don't really think it's that flattering. <laughs> okay, it's very tiny. I don't know if you guys are into like very short shorts. It definitely is giving that unibutt. And typically the way to get rid of unibutt is to ride it up basically give yourself a wedgie and if you do that with these shorts your butt cheeks are going to hang out and that's a no-no for me so will i wear these maybe at home i will definitely not work out in these but yeah overall these are i want to say five out of ten the leggings are like six out of ten for me i do like this top though i really like this one a lot <laughs> And lastly, on this Glacier collection, we have the Apre, I don't know how to say it, Presky top. And on the model, it looks very cute. She has a bigger chest than I, and she's also taller than I. So I end up with extra fabric, not a fan of that. So you're gonna end up having to kind of like have these scrunch on your wrist. Although it's pretty cute. Like, do I like it? Do I like it? I don't know, I kind of like it. It's starting, to, it's starting to grow on me. Although I feel like I can't really do a high intensity workout in these because I feel like this is pretty thick in my opinion. Although, I mean, I probably work out in it. It's pretty comfortable. It doesn't have padding, so do be mindful of that. So I probably won't wear this with a sports bra because I have broad shoulders, so I feel like it's already tight around the top area. So there is that. Although I don't know how I feel about the fitting in this seam right here like this seam where it runs from here to your chest it's very tight so it kind of feels like this seam is just like tugging into your underarm so i don't like that feeling right here i mean it's cute i like it but yeah that's pretty much it from the glacier collection i hope you guys find this a little bit helpful i don't know how the other bow and tee materials are but i am definitely not a fan of the leggings and the shorts overall i feel like they're more for lounge wear rather than workout like if you're working out like typically i would look for a high compression waistband so it doesn't keep writing down when you're doing squats and all of that and i feel like with these like Leggings, it lacks compression around the waistband in terms of thickness as well I feel like it's a little too thick I feel like if I stretch it out any further it'll rip I do love the pattern on it like the rib pattern I am all 
for that. That's what I really love about this collection and that's really what caught my eye. But yeah, that's my try on a haul and first impression of Bowen D. If you guys found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up. I don't have a code for you guys because I am not affiliated with Bowen T at all. Um, I purchased this for myself and basically for you guys just in case you petite ladies are interested in buying some of their leggings. Now, I want to quickly talk about the petite leggings. Yes, they are shorter but the longer I wore it, I noticed that like there's some scrunching around the groin area if you write it up. So extra fabric is happening there and I personally don't like the look. Be aware of that. Would I recommend their leggings for people who work out? Absolutely not. But if you just want it for lounging, being at home, or for running errands, then sure. They are a little bit on the... I want to say they're not very pricey, but they're... Uh, I want to say that it's fair price. It's fair price, but for the quality and functionality of these clothing and the outfits, I don't think it meets the standards. I don't think it's necessarily worth it because I've been seeing so many hype about Bowen T and I see so many influencers hyping it up and they all have amazing bodies and pretty similar bodies to their models on their website and I really was curious to see how it would look on me and someone who is shorter someone that is of different body type and I'm glad I tried it out because I learned that it is definitely not for my body type so I hope you guys found this helpful and if you guys don't follow me on my Instagram yet go ahead and give that a follow I post workouts fits all of that also I do have a fitness tiktok i just kind of started that one would appreciate it if you guys follow me on there as well but anyways thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and hit that ring bell button to get notified every time i post i'm going to start posting weekly videos so i hope to see you guys on the next one bye